Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily create this seemingly complicated city using relatively simple methods. The city is completely procedural and can be changed to anything you'd like, pretty much. There is little to no modeling and basic yet effective texturing. Okay, so to start off, you just need a plane and you want to subdivide that plane about eight times. Eight. All right, and then click simple and apply. And now you want to add a displace modifier and then go down here and hit new and then go to clouds. And you see that it's bumpy because it's of course a cloud texture and we want to switch the noise basis from Blender Original to Cell Noise. And now this is going to be the basis for our city because it's clearly blocky, but we just want to tweak it a little bit more because you see right now we have these like slanted pieces and it's kind of just all meshed together. There's no separation in between the buildings. You can kind of do this part any way that you would like. So first of all, of course, the size, I'm going to put mine at 20 and then the depth at one because we don't want all that detail and the slants and everything so put the detail at one okay and we're going to change this type to hard and then turn on the color mode so you can see i mean it looks pretty much the same as it did earlier but uh okay so now what we want to do we're not going to mess with any of this we're just going to turn on color ramp and then move the black value down over closer to the white, kind of in the middle. And you see that's lowering all the buildings. That takes away these side pieces. It moves them down and kind of flattens them out. So that's pretty much our city. So now what you need to do is find a camera angle because we're going to, from the camera's position, project the image onto the object. So we're just gonna camera to view and find <coughs> okay so moving the camera just get it however you like it once you're happy with how your city looks so far you can go back over to modifiers and apply the displacement modifier so this makes our city a set object and we can now edit the faces and everything so now if you have any problems like this piece sticking up you can simply just click on the vertice and delete it. So after editing, I realized that to make this city a lot more low poly, you could select the different faces of the buildings and take all the subdivisions away by decimating the geometry down to one face. And then it would be a lot more easily duplicatable, I guess you could say. You could put more of it and it wouldn't do as much processing. Now moving on to texturing, we just need to go to shading and make a new material. And then I have a picture of a cityscape that I got from textures.com. This is what it looks like. And we're just going to use that and project it from view onto the city we have right now. So put it in base color. And then right now it looks really weird and wrong. It doesn't look like a city at all. So we have to go to UV editing. Select everything, go to material preview, and then project from view. And that puts the 3D model pretty much in the UV editor, and we can move around the individual city buildings onto cities in the picture. Now that it's projected, we just need to line up the buildings to the buildings in the picture. You don't necessarily have to get all of them, but the ones that like really stand out, you definitely want to line them up as good as you can. The easiest way is to just use the circle select with C and then select the faces of the building. You can do the front and side separately or you can do them together and then just line them up with the building somewhere. You can turn that off so you can see better. And I think that this one would look good with that. Now 
now that everything's lined up, all we have to do is make the windows emissive and just add a little more detail with shading. And we're going to start off by just putting the picture into the specular and then adding an emission shader. And I already had a mix here, but just put the emission into the bottom of the mix. So now put the image into the emission, add a color ramp, put the image into the color ramp and the color ramp into the factor of the mix. So what this is going to do is we're going to move these values closer together and kind of make like an emissive map just out of this picture that we have. So just dial these in close to each other, find the place that it works best, wherever that might be. Oh, it looks very weird. I think that looks pretty good. You don't want to go too overboard with it. I'm going to try five for now. So let's see what that looks like. Simple and easy detail. And you can add some fog. The fog definitely adds a lot to the nighttime look. While it adds atmosphere and makes everything look better, it of course also hides problems that we might have. To add a bit more detail, we're gonna put antennas on top of some of the buildings. But we're not gonna do this manually, we're gonna use a particle system. So select your city and then go to modifiers and add a particle system and then hair and then we're going to render it as an object and then select our cylinder that we have and right now it's going to be all over the place no specific order no specific building and but we want that we want to set it on certain buildings we need to select advanced turn on rotation and then object x and that puts them all facing upwards so to get them on certain buildings, we have to weight paint where we want to put them. So go to weight paint, and then just put it on, put dots on buildings that you want them to be. Okay, so once you're happy with where they are, go back to the particle system, and then go down to vertex groups, and then in density, select that group. And we have tons of antennas right now, and we need to turn that down and also move your cylinder out of the way. So turn down the number. Also, turn up the length to make them bigger. Just mess with how many there are until you like where you're at. You can always go back and add more, of course. See, now we have antenna, and it didn't take that long. We don't have to manually place them. They're just there, we can change where they're at, and it's pretty easy. And if you really want to go the extra mile, you can add a red light on top of your antenna, and that would be pretty easy. All you would have to do is loop cut your cylinder at the top, and select those faces, and then add a new material, assign it, and then of course do emission and I would do red because that just makes the most sense if your antenna is upside down like the light is inside the building instead of at the top like mine is it's a pretty easy fix you just need to change the phase around on the rotation and now they're facing upwards looks even cooler. Using the same method that we did for the antenna, you can also add other things, like I added these boxes to some of the roofs, just again to add a little extra detail. So that's pretty much it. Um, you can of course add as much more as you want. You can do about anything with this. It would work really good for background stuff. You could even probably put it in the foreground and it's of course really low poly and doesn't consume a lot of processing power so it works really good for about anything.